So try to observe your console here, server console. ABC, ABC at gmail.com. Is this page refreshed? Still your page remaining same. And you can print output on something like here only if you want to print some tags. In between tag and tag if you want to print your output you can print here. Open this index.html. Create one tag here. Simple paragraph tag or else anything. Paragraph, paragraph ID is T. So here if you want to append your append your output for this paragraph tag, you can append here. Open this form. Paragraph P, I want output. I want to keep output for this paragraph tag. So what you should do? Dollar off. element p paragraph dot append success or else fail now once again refresh now submit data it is not appending anyways data submitting to server but output it need to append here or else we'll do one thing keep here success and id paragraph id s yes. and one more paragraph id f yes. fail so do one thing on document load hide both okay on document load you can hide both the properties hash s yes dot hide and you can hide one more id f when we need to show them in case if it is success show on success show property S success property show in case if it is fail show the failure property right data submitting to avoid page refresh I think you need to return false here. Anyways, once again, I'll try this. Okay. Which will page refreshing. It should not refresh the page, right? Automatically, it is refreshing here. Okay, why? Because we are using get method, right? 
so through get it is trying to submitting data finally success okay once after success it is submitting data to server instead of using get you just use post here if it is post through url it will not show the data right use post and in this method also in this servlet also use instead of do get do post just redeploy and test it we are using get right that's why it is trying to submitting data through url now on alert yeah submit your form data even if you submit through post also data submitting but page automatically refreshing right still it is showing that data in url itself reason in our form for the form method is default get so you just make it post change your form method also here then submit data now here it is not showing any data right but anyways page document again reloading on document ready once again this document loading data anyway submitting to server see this console through ajax only it is submitting data submitting okay call going successfully but page refreshing here this page it should not refresh i think for this form we don't have any action right so it is refreshing the same page itself and our action put simple hash
anyways if i try any times also again and again it is reloading okay but anyways ajax calling making successfully here it should wait actually but again it is reloading the page just i'll comment this document ready only on click function i am writing here okay once again restart okay i'll show you that prevention examples tomorrow okay it is submitting data through ajax but it is refreshing the page continuously it should not refresh the page but anyways have you observed it is sending data through ajax call so just you need to do what you need to add this google apis javascript and then you just write a on click function on click of what on click of your submit button on click of submit button call a function and on that function you just need to read your values yesterday you asked right using ids can't be able to read values so using ids only now we are reading using this id using this email using this address using ids we are reading data here hash we need to use for ids so using hash id of name and email and address these values we are reading and we are storing them into variable called name variable called email variable called address and we are passing that variables data as a ajax call in that ajax we are saying the method type is post and my url pattern is registration and the data is name equal to this name value email equal to this email value and address equal to here we have address right this address value these all dynamic values we are submitting so from server it will get success or failure message in case if it get success it will execute this success function if it get fails it will execute this failure functions okay so in the same way simple you just on submit read your variables call ajax submit to your url just pass url here pass your method type here you can use get and post two methods are allowed here okay you can use get method or post method and if it is post it will send through the payload itself if it is get you can observe the data under url itself okay better to use post okay once again i'll i'll show you this example you tomorrow okay yeah thank you